What, you say you can see the fish? Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at them all right here on the side. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Oh, I got one. What's going on, guys? Today, we are doing something completely different. Uh, I traveled halfway through the state to fish one of the most unique and rare fisheries that we have in the Pacific Northwest. We're gonna fish for a fish that's called a smelt. We are only allowed to fish for these fish one day. One day this year. And that's today. <laughs> uh, so I'm meeting my buddy Carson. Look at that, just filled with people. Thousands and thousands of people come from all over the place. They come from out of state to come and fish for these smelts. And I'm about to try this for the first time. It's Carson. I'm not gonna take my car onto that at all because I will very likely get stuck. Carson's making fun of me for like talking to the camera. Oh, is this an intro right now? What's up? It's kind camera? of an intro. What were you trying to do? I, I Just mean, making a fool of myself talking yeah, to the camera. Yeah, because I was like, if you're gonna go over this, you might high center it. Oh, but... heck no, man. I, man, I'm not <laughs> going over that bad thing. Just, yeah, just I'll just park next to your truck, dude. Yeah. If you guys don't know Carson, uh, he's been in a lot of my videos uh, before. He actually works for uh, our Department of Fish and Wildlife here. And I'll show you guys how we're gonna fish for these smelts. We're not gonna use a fishing rod actually to catch these fish. It's gonna be something different that we've never done before. All right, we're parked. It's business time, baby. Okay, so there's a 10 pound limit on these fish. We got a scale with us, we've got nets, and we're gonna, it's called dip netting for these fish. Take it five minutes. Yeah. And it took them five minutes, minutes to limit. Uh, wait a second, so, Justin, right? Justin, yeah. Just, hey, Justin, what's going on, man? My name's I was like, I recognize you from Instagram or something like that. Yeah. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Dylan. Dylan. If you don't need waiters, you can use your... Yeah, you let's just do it while they're still at the bank yeah. and stuff. I just don't want to miss the footage. I want to try and get some underwater footage of these you fish, too. Dude, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> You're welcome. You're oh, welcome. dude, I'm, I'm after, uh, yeah, after last year's disappointment. It wasn't a disappointment. We got to test. So last year we tried catching these smelt, and I drove all the way down halfway through the state, and there were no it more fish. Us. It was over. <laughs> but then we went, um, and if you guys haven't seen that video, it wasn't a very popular video, but uh, it's Carson, a shame because it was an awesome. It was video cool, man. Tagging a wild steelhead. Yeah, we tagged a wild steelhead. Great. They're these giant sea run trout that we have here. Massive. The wild ones are super endangered in our area, so. So we did a uh, mission with Fish and Wildlife, joined them, um, and we had to capture one in a trap and then tagged it for scientific purposes. And we explained what we did in that video. I'll drop a link below to that. So it, was, it wasn't a wasted trip. No, it was still good. Yeah. It was still really good. Yeah. Should I put on like fancy shoes or just I mean, like? You want, I mean, we went all out, but I mean. I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna wear old dress shoes. Wait, do I have extra testing like that? I'm gonna wear dress shoes. <laughs> I don't care. Oh wow, okay, so there's like tons of space here. A few other people dip netting for them there. They're back, look at them all. There. What, you say you can see the fish? Oh yeah, yeah, look at them all right here on the <gasps> Oh my goodness! Dude, there's just thousands of them down there. Look, they're, they're everywhere. Yeah, I'm not even like trying it, guys. We've got like yeah, big nets. I'm just gonna like try with my trout net here. <laughs> they're, they're right here. There's just thousands of them. Look at it right there. Right there. It's a smell. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, oh, one got really close. <laughs> so there's a little log that they're coming on the inside of. It's my first time seeing them. My heart's racing, guys. Oh, I got one! I got one! <laughs> got him in the trout net, baby! Look at that! Oh my goodness! All right. Dude. Oh, wow. Let's look at this little guy here. What an interesting looking fish. Like rough and not slimy. There's zero slime to these guys. Funny looking little mouth. A lot of fin. A lot of fin on that fish. Dude, that was sick! Dude, I almost got two on that one, too. <laughs> almost two. There's gotta be, do you know the school sizes? Like, how many there millions. are? Millions. Milli I mean, it's many millions. Yes. Like Way more than salmon. Million. Yeah. Oh, I got one by hand. 
<laughs> Got one by hand, baby. Maybe he's a sick one. Maybe we shouldn't eat him. No, We're gonna fun. eat him. He looks okay. We're gonna eat him. We're done messing around. So is that the? Uh, that's the this kind of. That's the old dip net there, huh? That's the net right there. Man, I should have put on the boots, huh? Oh, there they are, right there, right, right in there. front of us. All right, so there's thousands and thousands of these little fish swimming by right in front of me, like two feet in front of my feet, two feet in front of my feet, whatever. Look at them. I, ca I can't resist. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> what the what is this oh my what look at them they're, they're just they keep coming I don't know, I just want to say thank you to the species for uh, showing up and doing their cool natural thing, so we're going to let one go. There, that's the mercy fish right there. He's doing good. Go up and spawn, baby. Dude, now we got to make sure I didn't already limit. That's not 10 pounds. That's not 10 pounds. So what do we do? What's the trick? So we just kind of... that right here. He kind of... Boom. Yep. Boom. Wow. You're at... Six pounds. Six pounds. We need four more pounds. Man, so that one more scoop could do it, guys. One more scoop could do it, but I don't, I don't want to like do it right away. We're gonna do like kind of a little, a little scoop, just a little guy. All right, three, two, one. All right, Carson's gonna. We're gonna film a cool scoop here. Here we go. Here we go. Dude, money shot. That was the money shot. Nine point nine. Nine point nine. So the bucket's about a pound and a half, you said? Yeah. So we need another pound and a half of smelt here. There's thousands of them in front of me, so I think we can do this. All right, we're gonna do our last scoop here. One-handed scoop, just to, you know, make it more challenging, give the fish a chance. Ooh. Oh, wow. Only three on that scoop. That was... So we're looking for, the bucket is about a pound and a half, so we're looking for about 11 and a half pounds, probably 11.4 pounds to yeah. play it safe. 10, eight. 10, eight, so we need a couple more. We need a couple more. You know, we're gonna need both hands for this one. So we uh, just got a way too big of a scoop. I'm just gonna like, I don't even wanna remove him from the water just to not injure him, wanna keep him nice and strong. Um, here we go, come on. Get out of there, little guys. And then we're just gonna, like this here, okay, even this is too much. So I wanna make sure that we don't go over our limit. So we're just gonna let a few go here. And then we'll uh, keep these guys in the net. I'll just add, we needed about half a pound. So three fish really should should do it. Justin's gonna weigh here. Oh, don't tell me it died on us, Carson. Oh no. Oh. 11.2, you know what, we're gonna call that. We're gonna play it safe. I don't want to like accidentally go over the limit. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just let the rest of these guys go. Remember guys, it is super important whenever you're fishing for whatever species to keep it sustainable. Don't go over your limits and stuff. Um, just respect the, respect the fish, man. Every single one of you, get out of here. Get out of here, go spawn. Future generations. There we go. All right, that was awesome. We got 10 pounds of smelt man it's a lot of fish these guys are delicious pickled or smoked fried deep fried you can use them as bait there's so many purposes people back in the day used to actually use them as fertilizer for their lawns i wonder why they went extinct or almost extinct so luckily numbers have rebound so fertilizer is cheap at the, the hardware store Let's keep these guys for for food or bait
This looks like a pretty good spot to cook up some of that smelt. All right, I'm hungry, let's get started. And I wonder if this creek has like trout in it. I've seen like little baby trout here before. This is really close to my house. And if there's babies, that means that some adults must have laid eggs upstream at one point. I'm kind of keeping my eyes open. I didn't bring any poles, but. <laughs> Got him. I've got everything with me to cook these smelt up right here. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna like relax now together. So that's just my little little mess kit. I've got a pot and a pan here. Here they are. <laughs> Three smelt. I already gutted them. So we're just gonna give these guys a quick rinse. As you can see with these, all I did was uh, just gut them real quick. They didn't really have any guts in them. One thing is when these smelt go into the rivers, they stop eating so they don't have any like food in their bellies. All that's really in there is like the eggs and sperm sacs because they're up in the rivers to spawn like a salmon. A weird little thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what I want to do with these smelt is like bread them. I brought some uh, Louisiana fish fry products. I'm here in the Northwest, but you guys down there make some good fish fry. So uh, we're gonna batter them with that and then fry them in butter. Don't need to be shy. Ooh, that pan's getting hot. Oh, by the way, a little trick. Take your lighter, wrap it in duct tape. That way you've got duct tape with you. It doesn't take up any extra space. Ooh, ooh, don't be shy. <laughs> I'm so excited, dude. I'm, I'm starving. Oh yeah. We've got the whole fish, man. Heads and everything. You guys ever eat fish with the heads? <laughs> or the bones? A lot of you guys in the comments ask all the time, like if I take the bones out of like my trout and stuff, you know, eat bones at your own risk, I guess. But yeah, I eat them, man. It doesn't bother me. They're small. They get soft when you cook them. There we go. We're going to do the big guy first. In the pan he goes. Oh, he barely fits. <laughs> Come on. It looks good. It looks really good. Woo. Oh, he attacked me. The revenge of the smelt. Oh, dude. Oh, come on. So one thing I did just want to like apologize uh, to you guys for not having out as many episodes lately as I really wish I would. There's just been a lot of really good things happening right now for Northwest Fishing Secrets. So uh, don't worry, nothing bad's going on. Everything's good. We'll be back in business soon. Um, I'll explain more in the next episodes. One thing that I did promise you guys to update you on was whether I got that land or not. Yes, I did end up buying the land. So we'll have like a land update episode soon. It's just been like really snowy and stuff to even get over the mountains uh, to get over there. So, but we'll, we'll head over there soon, do some fishing and uh, we'll have to make sure the land's still there. <laughs> All right, these smells are pretty much done. Super nice and crispy, man. Uh, dude, like a french fry. We're now down to the main ingredients of the dish. <laughs> the Danish sea salt. <laughs> Besides the breading, this is the only spice that we're going to use in this whole dish. There we go. Don't even be shy. The salt has a lot of other minerals than just sodium in there, so it's all good. Just gonna shave a little bit of that onion in there. Rustic cut, don't need to be pretty. Oh yeah. Oh man, the 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 the, 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 the flavors and the smell coming from that onion are just like heavenly right now. Nice crisp, golden brown. Those onions are pretty much caramelized. So we're just gonna throw those. Right on our fish, man. Now you know there's one more thing missing. <laughs> Cheese in the pan first, and the tortilla second. Make sure your cheese doesn't burn. A nice golden brown is what you're looking for, just a little bit of crunch. So a lot of you guys on Instagram are showing me that you've been cooking your like tacos and burritos like that. It's you should, If you haven't tried it, you should totally try it. It's, <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Dude, if the weather's gonna be like this, we need to get out and do like a backpacking survival video somewhere. It's just been like so snowy here lately. <laughs> I just wanna 
get back in the mountains, but like it's just impossible to actually access the spots that I want to get to up in the mountains because they're, well, they're under 15 feet of snow. <laughs> We're just gonna take a couple slices out of an avocado here. The meat's just coming right off of them. There we go. One little fish. I wanted to just try what one tastes like without like the whole burrito. Nice oily flavor. Uh, smelts are actually like made up of 15% oil. Back in the day, they used to render these fish to make oil to export into the more central United States where they didn't have runs of smelt. And we're talking back in the, the Wild West. They also used like smelt, dried them and used them as candles, I believe. They burn if they're dry because of the high oil content and they make a really good smoked fish. Uh, you can pickle them just like a herring or just eat them like this. All right, here's what happened to our tortilla. Oh yeah, nice and crunchy cheese. I'm just gonna grab all of this. There we go. Oh man, look at that. That's gonna be good. We're gonna sneak up here and see if we can see a trout. They'd usually be sitting in the tail out or higher up where the water's trickling into that pool, but that's a nice deep pool. If there's a fish here, it's the best pool I've seen in the creek. Mm. The onions give it that super sweet, caramelized, earthy undertone. Avocado creams it up. And that smelt is delicious. Like, I know a lot of people don't eat smelt, but, but damn, try that. Fry them up, get them crispy, throw them in a wrap. Beautiful place. So I'm already planning like another adventure. Probably want to go out and film like a winter survival video somewhere. Uh, there's a few really cool places I want to check out with you guys. Uh, so remember, if you guys aren't already subscribed, feel free to subscribe, ring the notification bell. That way you guys don't miss the new episodes. All right, I think the last bite was the heads. <laughs> the last one was definitely the heads. I thought I ate them head first, but I ate them tail first. The heads I'd probably say need to be fried a little more. They need to be really crispy. Last bite wasn't the best, let's just say it that way. I have no idea what this is, but we'll pack it out. So let me know what you guys wanna see for the next adventure. I've got some good ones planned already. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you're not already. Say hi in the comments. I'll be there reading them. And I uh, love you guys, we'll see you in the next episode. Till then, you all know it, fish on baby.